Well, welcome to episode three of the Moving On Podcast. I'm your humble and gracious host, David A. Burris. Super excited. Every day I become more and more excited about where this podcast is going. I do. Uh, This is day three, episode three. If you missed the previous two episodes, you can go back and check the replays uh, via YouTube. Or you can reflect on the emails that you're receiving daily as the replay is there. Also, you can check yesterday's replay in this email. If you go back and just, uh, there's a section below where you can uh, revisit this replay. But nonetheless, today we are dealing with the fear of what's next. The fear of what's next. How many times have you been afraid of what's next? How many times have you not made decisions out of fear of what was to come? I don't know about you, but I I have done that so many times. Even now, it's something I just have to really be careful to not do. Uh, it's easy to become afraid of what's next. It's easy to become afraid of what you do not understand. It's easy to become afraid of what's around the corner, especially if you are not clear and not certain about what is to come and what is around the corner. And so we want to deal with that today. I want to share a specific truth with you. I don't have a list of things. I know you are used to me having at least three to five, even 10 things to share with you. I don't have a list, but I have one scripture that I want to share that's really going to help us uh, become less and less afraid of what is around the corner. Let's look at Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse eight. Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse eight. I'm going to read it for us. And it says this, the Lord himself goes before you and he will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Wow. That's Deuteronomy 31 and eight. It says again, I want to read it for you again. It says the Lord himself will go before you and he will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. So if you've ever been afraid of what's around the corner, that scripture in and of itself silences that fear for us as the believer. It really, when I read that scripture, really, it, it and not it not only did it speak to me, but it really shook me, it awakened me because it really spoke to who I have been as a person over time. I've been afraid. Uh, been worried about making decisions, been worried about what's around the corner instead of putting my trust in the Lord. Let's go revisit that again. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse eight, it says the Lord himself goes before you. That's that is wonderful news that that shuts down the whole conversation of what's around the corner. I know what's around the corner. I know my God is around the corner. Now, why that encourages me and why I hope it encourages you is the same God that brought you out of everything that you've been through before. The same God that brought you through every emotional, financial, relational, physical storm, psychological storm that you've been in in your life. That same God is ever present today. And the Bible says here in Deuteronomy 31 and 8, the Lord himself goes before you. Wow. So what is around the corner is my savior, the author and finisher of my faith. What's around the corner is the, the, the God of all universe, my provider, my he, think about that. My provider is around the corner. My healer is around the corner, right? So when God gives you a vision, gives you a plan gives you an idea and you're scared because you don't know what's around the corner. Well, the same God who called you to it is the same God who's around the corner waiting to receive you when you get there. The Lord himself goes before you and it says, and he will be with you. Do you know fear? If I were to summarize fear, and here's how I've had to summarize it for myself. Fear is the notion that God is going to leave me in my catastrophe. Fear is the notion that when I'm in the middle of a catastrophe, in the middle of adversity, in the middle of my trial, God's going to leave me. So I, I, you know, even, you know, I I fly quite a bit and I don't like flying a lot, but I have to do it. Um, But I've learned to not be afraid because God told me not only did he say he he would go before me, 
but it also said that he is with me. I want you to hear that. God is with you. And so you don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be concerned about what's around the corner because God is not only easy around the corner. Not only did he go ahead of you, but he stayed back with you as well. So he is with you, ushering you to you. He's wished with you. Think about that. God is already Jeremiah 29, 11 says, I know the thoughts I think towards you, says the Lord, which means God is already in the future. He sees the future version of me. And the Bible says here that he now goes ahead of me. So the God who knows the future version of me has gone ahead of me. And he's with that version of me while he walks the present version of me to me. So you are never alone. You should never feel afraid. Then it says, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never leave you nor forsake. God is not petty like people. He's not. God will never leave you nor forsake you. But I've sinned. God will never leave you nor forsake you. But I disobeyed him. God will never leave you nor forsake you. But I'm afraid God will never leave you nor forsake you. But I still question God. God will never leave you nor forsake you. But I feel so filthy. God will never leave you. But I said no to his purpose. Whatever your whatever your things are, God will never leave you nor forsake you. You got to get that into your head. And so it says, uh, it, it closes by saying, do not be afraid. And it says, don't lose courage. Don't be discouraged. That last piece is critical to hear this. And then I'll close it. That do not be discouraged means that there are some things you will have to wait on and just know that God is waiting with you. There are some things that will you you'll have to you have to be developed before he gives them to you. God says, do not be dismayed. Do not be discouraged. I am with you. So I want you to meditate this today and I want you to really give yourself permission to do two things. Give yourself permission to not be afraid of what's around the corner and give yourself permission to think differently. Man, I've had a blast hanging out with you today. And um, I'm, I'm praying that this really stuck to your bones. I pray you have a powerful day. I'm looking forward. I got a huge announcement coming at the end of the week. So I want you to stay tuned.